of psychology is part of the problem. There's consequences for not acknowledging these things. We are always in the, in the shadow of our history and culture and ancestors. How do we find a language for that that crosses the gap between psychology as a discipline and the experiences that we have as just being in the world? I think depth psychology is a response of, um, of the need of, of soul to be recognized. We're facing unprecedented ecological crises. We are also facing unprecedented battles over whose God image is correct. And depth psychology is positioned really to bring a response to those kinds of issues that really are threatening us today. What is going on and what is at work on us individually and collectively? Psychology disappointed me and in the gap I found poetry. But as a psychologist who believes that we need a new level of discourse to open up the wonder and the miracles of reality, that's what I call a poetic sensibility. When Freud describes dream in his, his interpretation of dreams in his landmark book, if you read the description of the dream image and the dream content, he could be just as well describing a poem. So it's not only important for understanding the life of psyche at its depths that a poetic sensibility is important, but also our culture. Today, our culture, we need poets. So how does the psychologist versus the poet access that dream? Yeah, we're developing a poetic sensibility for psychology because to have a poetic sensibility to be able to unpack that dream in a sensitive and uh, patient way where the image can be not just one thing but one of many possible things I, that's where I think it's just really really important powerful connection between what I experience when I'm writing poetry and what I read about in depth psychology and dream related as the royal road to the unconscious. Not just for the discipline of poetic sensibility, it is for a life that is really enriched in its relationship to the world, that opens it to wonder. To me, poetry is kind of ever present and the response to soul is ever present. And I think depth psychology in its own way is a response to soul. Poet is, is not a term that you take yourself. It's a baptism that is given to you. And I'm glad to then be with somebody who has been baptized as a poet, Brian. And our collaboration is about how my attempt to bring a poetic sensibility to the discipline of psychology and how he as a poet are both interested in that transformation of language into a healing discourse. Poetry has always been there. The response to soul has always been there. I think it's an ever-present kind of a thing. The poet has to be honored now. Mm -hmm.